Okay. Okay, guys, we continue learning the our study a little bit higher about the continuation of the Rashamod of the souls. You remember last show we learned, guys, boys? Um. You said that those Rashamod, which is. Uh, yeah, we learned the cup with the cup. Yeah? We learned with a cup there. Don't remember silly stuff. Okay. It's not only cup. Forget about cup. It's not important. The one more thing, we talk about the Nishamot. Yeah, okay. Talk about the Shamot. So the Shamot, yeah. I think we should move this way. Come closer. Huh? We'll call it, we'll call, we'll talk about the Nishamot. That they was the Shamot. For many years, no place, not in hell, not in nowhere. nowhere. And they suffer a lot. And the sages said there was not such a good soul. They remember we said that they wouldn't believe. With the slingshot, they went bing, come on, go to the other. Um, he doesn't want to bring this kind of stuff. So you have to oh, you also said that the don't four corners need to of the bring world this kind of stuff. You have to remember what's happened to them. That they didn't believe and many things and they even didn't have the the lichluchit of the mitzvah until like uh until something of something didn't have the mitzvah not even, not yeah. even one mitzvah nothing they say what? Say, it's a, it's such a how is that possible not to do one mitzvah and mitzvah why Shh. and why and why did heaven became happen to them it's because uh, as is my opinion, I was thinking about that. Yeah, it's my opinion. It's because the Tchetem Betim, they had it, yeah, the resurrection. It was not full with Tchetem Betim. Getting my point or not getting my point? Huh? Yes. Yeah, okay, the way. Yeah. It was not fully. Yeah. I think, I think I will give explanation. I think it was not fully. That's what the reason. What do you mean it's not fully? How can you not have to have you have to have to clear the mitzvah? Half your body is gonna wait. Half your body is still no, gonna wait. No, I didn't mean about that. I didn't about not full about the body. Body could get up, not fully. In what sense? I was thinking about this a lot. Not fully. In what sense? It because the real chetam mitzvah was gonna be the resurrection and in the future, mm -hmm. or there gonna be the such a strongest reward and such a kind of, uh, the the chetam mitzvah. The body gonna be also different, not same. No, sometimes it says that uh, let's say. No, they, they said that the with the with the gonna be the resurrection gonna be. Yeah, people the way they die, that the way they get up. Yeah, but then and after that, Hashem gonna heal them, and then make them much stronger, much bigger. But was, do, do you know what my father said? He said whenever Mashiach is gonna come, there's gonna be three generations of Mashiach. Three generation of Mashiach. Three generation. Mashiach, his son, and his grandson. Mashiach, his grandson. Okay, I didn't hear that. So, where do you get that? Where do you get that? And then I don't know. But where do you get that? Mashiach, his son, his grandson. Because I don't know. I ask. Okay, I'm and asking. And after that, there's gonna be Chayat and after that, there's gonna be Allah Maba. Possibility, possible. There's many opinions that not. Yeah, I'm just saying. Remember, he said that the cup. I'm just. And I want to say something that the cup, whenever you throw it out, like it's the Gilgul on top. I asked my father about a metal spoon. Well, how can you? No, like wait, that? no, 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 no. But the metal. No, 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 no. You're making mistake now. Nobody about the metal right now. They took the the bone of the people. They took the bone of the people. They shape it. They not shape. That, he's not talking about that. Yeah, saying, you already said the plastic cup. You're saying you ah, for drink. the Gilgul. Yeah, you're saying ah. you drink with the bracha. So what, what, you say so the metal one you're saying? Metal spoon. So what about? My father, my father said that it, now when you watch, like a metal spoon, like it's really hard. A metal spoon actually has to break and then the Gilgul. True. Yes, 100%. Yeah. Not the the metal you one. to break a spoon. You have to get break that that the soul should be finished. You see, it's like this. Look, it's like this. Look, look, look. look, 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 look. No one's gonna break. No one will break the. Could you, could you listen? 
It's like this. This is a plastic spoon, the metal spoon. Mm -hmm. The neshama which I send, send it to the plastic spoon is much, much less averodi have. Sin, that is the reason I shall send, send him to the plastic spoon. Why? Should they let me finish to understand that. And then he's sending the plastic spoon. This way, the soul is not such an evil one. That's the, that's the way he's going to receive his tikkun right away. And the metal one, you're going to send the evil soul that's not going to break so soon. And we'll know, we'll know, we'll know how, when you're going to get fixed. It. Maybe it can take 100 years. You understand? Baba. So I shall already know to which soul, to which kind of vessel, clear to send it for a specific istikon. You get it? No. Are you get it? Yes. Why, why, I don't understand why Hashem will give the one day more to Shiva in his life. If someone wants Shiva, he should have, uh, he should have a harder time with uh, he should have the metal spoon. Because the person who did let... I mean, I say, speak correctly and little by little, I mean, understand the word. The Rasha should be in the, in the place. The Rasha? Yeah. So you say, say the Rasha. You say the Rasha, the Rasha. The like Rasha is coming out. The Rasha. Say Rasha. Finish yeah. it. The Rasha should be in everything in a plastic spoon. The Rasha should be plastic spoon. Yeah. Why? Wait. Why? Why? Why does Hashem want a Rasha just roaming around around the world? You never know what happened. I thought you said. Why Hashem want to what around the world? Like, turn on the said with uh, if someone does a lot of rot, the spirits go inside of him. Whenever we do that, uh, if Hashem uh, puts a plastic spoon, in the, how do you know that the spirit's not going like, to go next to someone and go inside? So why would Hashem want the Rasha's kind of thing all around the world, in the world? Should be better make it go out faster. So where's your suggestion? You should go to the Rasha's, his soul should go to the plastic spoon? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. But Hashem descended in the metal spoon. Why? Because it's too much evil. If it's too much evil, why is Hashem able to be roaming around? What do you mean Hashem is roaming around? What do you mean about that? The evil. Where, what do they say? They don't go to Gehenna. Then they don't go to Gehenna, right? Gehenna is in the end. Not in the beginning. But in the end. In the end? And, 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 and finish. Told, it's done. It finish. Those Hashem we talk about that, there was for 500,000 years, there was not in hell even. You know, imagine yourself with how evil it was. I'm saying, why didn't Hashem want him? Why did Hashem make a mistake? Why didn't Hashem put him to hell? Why did he make a mistake? Why Hashem put him to hell? Yeah. It's that question. Because it's kind of like a privileged sort of hell. It's, it's, not, it's not a question. Because Sometimes it's a privileged sort of hell. It's because, it's because, it's because if he, if he decided not to make Chuba, if he decided to be such kind of evil, if he decided not to go in the right direction, that's what's gonna be in there. But what if he, what if at first he was like, I wouldn't know. It's like the way you ask a question, it's like a, it should be a choice. The way you ask a question, you ask, it's like a, you don't want a person have a choice. No choice. But, you, but who, why aren't they saying, if you didn't know him, you should just go to him and his neshama will burn there. Say again? Whenever, what the, whenever you go to get you know, your neshama is there, right? It burns. Why didn't the Shem just leave his neshama and then it burns? In the in the end? Yeah. Why you want to put him in the bone? His, his, his plan was not to do the kind of thing. His plan was to give a reward to the Shema. His plan was not to give the Shema to the Gerom and, and finish him off. It wasn't his plan. Well, what's the point of just staying around? Huh? What's the point of just staying there, like roaming around? Staying where? In Gerom? No, not in Gerom. Just roam around. He's not in any place. Okay, you see, let, let me explain to you, let me explain to you something. I think you're missing something, let me explain something. Tell me, if you have a clothes, mm -hmm. yeah, if you have a clothes, let's say you it's, it's spill on your clothes, let's say a little sweet water, a little bit small, a sweet water, let's say. And you still, you, you have a very little tiny, tiny... Uh, a, stain. Uh, 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 stain. Uh, huh? Stain. Stain? Yeah. A stain. Stain or something stain. else? Stain. Some stain? Yeah, like this, I'm right. Like, oh, yeah, the same, all the same, yeah. So, you know, to wash this, not a big deal, by the way, you know that, yeah? Mm -hmm. You go to water, you make one, two, three, or whatever, five minutes, you're done, it's clean, finished, done. Sometimes, sometimes, you could spill in your clothes a lot of wine and oil and, and such greasy things. 
Oh, and you didn't touch the. Let's say you didn't touch this clothes for a year. An example I'm giving you. For a year you didn't touch. Now go wash this. Oh, you have to wash, put so many soap. No, and you, wait, 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 wait. Don't, ju don't jump. Listen. And you have to wash and wash and wash and wash. So this, let's say, let's say this is clothes. This is a feeling too. Let's say it has a feeling too. It's, let's say it's like a human being. It has a feeling. So how much you have to suffer? You have to suffer how much he did it, that mistake and it's close. So same thing with the neshama. There's no reason Hashem gonna put the neshama in kind of place, no hell and no nowhere for 500 years and tell him, you know, I, 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 I just put it for no reason. No. But I think it's better to be in and nowhere than being in a Listen to me. Look, there is a, like this. There is a Hezbo note. It's a map of Hashem himself. You, not Hashem, me also not Hashem. Whatever sages told us that Hashem decided, he will do it. We not, cannot right now come and give to Hashem his plan. Tell him, listen, why Hashem you do this or you do that? This kind of thing, why you do it or you do that? We have to learn what the sages said. And we have to believe it if it continues to and understanding. I will tell you another thing. You see, you have a question, it's good, yeah? But for your understanding, you're not you're still young, so you you're to grasp exactly all the entire scenario, how it's working out, feel a little bit hard. But I promise you this by age you have more understand, more understand and plus on that, you have your time also, learn from King David. This is I learned. You know which age I learned that? When I was the age of 23. About? Wait! It was the age of 23. What I learned? What I learned? I learned, I learned, I learned like this. When I, took, when I took a book, when I started to read, I had the questions. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? You're asking. But why should that be? Why like that? Why like that? But why and why? Why? So many whys come to me and I was thinking myself. I see myself. I should read, not read. It doesn't make sense to me. Like Hashem loved me. Hashem loved me. It's not the way I was reading and open a page. I mean, I was reading, but page by page, it's not the kind of story. And so, so said over there, King David never ever blame on the book if it's something other than understand. He used to always blame on himself. He used to say, Hashem, Open my eyes. It's a Hebrew in the Tehillim. Rebuno Shoram, Gala and I, if I beat any film, it's a person in Tehillim. And you said, huh? And then it continues. Yeah. And you used to say, Rebuno Shoram, Gala and I, if I beat any film, it's a person. I said, please open my eyes. Let me see the truth of the Torah. And he gave you to say, I know one thing. If I doesn't understand, the problem is on me. It's my brain doesn't understand. But not in the book, not in the Torah, most of our sages which, which, which are speaking only the truth and from the prophecy. So you have to learn also like that. You have a question, it's a good thing, it's nice, yeah? But always pray to Hashem, tell him, Hashem, it, it doesn't, it doesn't shit in my mind. I'm, I, I'm not, like, like, I'm, like I'm not a great 100%. Hashem, please make me a favor, I beg you, open my eyes. Let me understand the way sages said, they should be handled correctly, and I should agree with them, not 100%, million percent. You get my point? Do you understand what I said? Papa. Wait, 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 you not agree with me right now? Dude. So why are you doing attitude you're doing again? Yeah? Why are you doing attitude? Huh? Yeah, you're doing a crazy attitude right now. Why are you doing attitude? You know, you said the corner, you know, yeah? Mm -hmm. Why you did this attitude? I don't know. I don't know. Huh? I, I saw you did attitude you did. Why you did attitude? You not agree what I told you right now? I do. It's King David, you know that, yeah? Yeah. You're not smarter than him, don't you think so? What? You're not smarter than him, don't you think so? Can you? You're not smarter than him, don't you think so? No. So I'm telling you what King David said. The blame is on me, not in the Torah. I don't understand, I have to pray to Hashem, Hashem should open my mind. And I believe if you're going to say that, it's everything going to be too clear. You don't have equations. But in the beginning, you have other questions because that's the job, that's the Sarara. You're fighting with the Klippa, you're fighting with the shell, you're fighting, you're fighting with, the, with the Sitra Akhra, you're fighting with the, with the Satan. 
any questions from Satan come by the way, you know, yeah? You don't know this. The Holy Lamb of Time, your father told you, I never told you. Questions come, questions come from Satan. The questions were good. You yeah. were more than that. No, the question, when you have a wandering or, 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 or not 100% sure, it's coming kind of from Satan. It's mean. That's huh? Boy, Rama. The doubt, okay, let me this way. Doubt yeah. comes from Satan. Okay, but what? But, how, but why would Hashem reveal to you even what great prophets to know about the Markeve Tamar Kava? Why would Hashem tell you how he runs the world? Why are you telling us? Yeah, I know. If you were not to God, then I would be dead. Why would Hashem just say, I'm, I'm going to show you Markeve Tamar Kava, how I run the world? He just, do that. just show me. That's it. No, he didn't understand how Hashem runs the world, isn't it? Yeah, but no, Hashem, Hashem wants, Hashem wants, give you a reward. A reward, I cannot give it to you. You cannot do anything about it. You understand? You have to have a fight. You have to have a, you have to have a work for it. When you learn Torah, what do we do? Right now we're learning. Try to understand. We're working. Learning Torah gonna open your brain. Yeah. You're gonna also knock out the Satan, yeah? And then you're gonna say, after you understand, Hashem give you a reward. But if you want everything easy, everything ready for you, you're not, you're not gonna have a reward. There's no reward for that. You understand? But how about if someone, he didn't have a shoe? There is no someone, there is no something, there is somebody else. That's the thing. You have to work to receive. No work, you're not gonna say anything. Period. What? How about if you don't have a choice, just a shem gives you? There is no choice, Moise. You do have a choice. You do have a choice. If you not have a choice, he will not create in this world. Are you hearing me? Yes. If you don't have a choice, he will not create in this world. You have do. A, you a, do have a choice, guys. You're arguing for seventy minutes. You're not learning. You're going to learn or not? You want to learn? Or you don't want to learn. Because we good question, question. You want to ask, ask again. But last question. Well, I want to continue, guys. Huh? Continue. Okay. And then don't forget that the Rabbi Doctor said over here he also fixed the neshama of that Nathan uh, Azati. Remember we learned that. Nathan of Gaza. Huh? Nathan of Gaza. Okay, say so you want to call that way, call that way. He fixed him, and he fixed him so, so strong. The Ptaya, so strong, he fixed him. He, or even he, bring, he, he, even he brought it to Ganeden. Imagine yourself, which kind of chesed did the Ptaya to that, that person. Very long Shemot, we continue. Very long Shemot, and he claimed Basavad Mishpatim, Bashem, Neshamot Atalayim. So there is a Zohar called, called Zohar the Sabbath of Mishpatim. That's the way it's called, that's Zohar Kadosh. I had that book. And uh, those Neshamot, whatever we talk about right now, yeah, not only them, also may say maybe could be more other Neshamot, that kind of that kind of Neshamot, that called in Hebrew Neshamot Artilain. Artilain, Artilain, which means come closer. Artilain, which means it doesn't have a close. You understand? Did they have a, did they have a close? Spiritual clothes that doesn't have. Remember, when you put it, when you do mitzvot ma'asi, ma'asiyot, yeah? No mitzvot ma'asiyot. Mitzvot action. Where is mitzvot ma'asiyot? Uh, wait, wait, wait. He said he knows. Where is ma'asiyot? There is mitzvot ma'asiyot. What is ma'asiyot? Uh-huh. Action mitzvot. Which one? Okay, there is it. Okay, there is a there is a spiritual mitzvot and there is an action. Which one is the action? Which one's an action? Huh? Which one's an action? Which mitzvot they consider an action, and maaseh and 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 physical? Physical action. Huh? Staka. Yes, you could say that. Yes, Shabbat. good. Huh? Shabbat. No, Shabbat is spiritual. Or it's, it's a little high level. It's already a high level. Tfilin, Talit, 
all those actions you saw is physical, you touch them, you hold them, but that's spiritual, but in a physical way. What is spiritual, what's the highest level than them? It's, a, it's already when you say the bracha, or you're learning Torah, or you pray, that's already much higher, and higher level of spirituality. Why I told you that is because to, to explain to you, neshama, neshama, when you leave this world, go all around by, yeah? From mitzvot ma'asyot, an action mitzvot, whatever you do, basically you a person creating to himself the clothing. This clothing, like a spiritual clothes, closing the neshama. And the spirit, that's the highest, the spiritual one, the like a Torah study prayer, that consider your food. Your food, your, 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 your spiritual food, you, you, it's coming to you in that energy and giving you satisfaction and you feel good, you feel, feel strong, you feel, you feel, you feel, you feel, uh, you feel best one. You understand? Exact, ex opposite way, evil words or bad words or, or, or watching not right stuff or wasting time for things or not doing mitzvot, you're creating thorns, has for shalom. Or, or, or closing for hell, God forbid. Understand? 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 I do understand. Okay. So basically, he's saying there's neshamot, neshamot, neshamot artelaim. The tzulamah, neshamot arumim. You see, naked, naked souls. Neshamot arumim. We believe libush, no clothing. They don't have clothes. Kmosha, kmosha never. Bezat Hashem will explain this thing. When I've shared that, when I've shared that word, kichola, I'm saying my soul knows that. Rabbi Dabta is saying. He's saying, everybody's souls, he has a desire to know how it's going to be, what's going to be. Don't you think it's interesting what's going to be to our soul when leaving the body? It's crazy, no? It's, it's really interesting what's going what's to happen, you know? Adi gyo el makum mul hato baganeden until gonna come to Ganeden, the place of the resting. Ganeden is place of resting. Okay. Eden Ganeden ayilion im neshamot hasedikim achasidim to be enjoy with the neshamot of sedikim achasidim. It's a zechut, by the way. Not everybody have that. Lachen amart ani lo ani libi la alot al sefer mamash masete buzdar buzdar yarizal and I decided from my my my, my heart. To write it down, exact explanation, people should understand what waiting for them uh, from the Ariya Kadosh and the Eschaim, what's, what's waiting for them for the Neshama, how they gonna be, is gonna uh, see the Sadiqim, Eliyahu, stay normal, well, please, and uh, and how it's gonna be. Uma, Shashaalti Miruchod, look over here, and whatever I write, I'm writing down, what I ask from the souls, he's saying, from the spirits, he spoke with them. You talk to them. Imagine yourself. Imagine yourself. He spoke with the spirit. You talk to him. Who's the spirit? Huh? Who's spirit? But people. People. Not with everybody. Whatever he had opportunity to speak with, he spoke with them. Because he was in the right eye of Ragnar. Huh? Because he was in the right eye of Ragnar Shah. Yeah, I didn't understand what you said. She was in the right eye of Adam Arishan. He had the eye of Adam Arishan? He was in the right eye of Adam Arishan. Who? <laughs> okay. You know which kind of spirit? You see, good question you ask. You know which kind of? I say people. No, he spoke with those souls, the, the naked one. Those naked souls that are suffering, he spoke with them. Sheikh and Yusuf are Adam. They go inside the human being. To the human, to, to go inside the human people. And they make them suffer. They make them suffer. You make the souls that are naked suffer? The naked soul go inside the body of human being and make them suffer. You huh? Like us? But people, yeah, regular people. They go inside and make them suffer. Would the naked soul makes the human being suffer? Yeah. Why? When if you, if you go inside the hand, you make him suffer. Why? Huh? Why did you do that? Why make him suffer? Because first of all, uh, give me a remote control. You feel cold, huh? Yes, yes. First of all, uh, first of all, uh, 
First of all, they don't have a room and they full of blemish. Why do they have to go inside people? They're full of blemish and they and they want to hide themselves. They want to hide themselves. Because the them. because the devil is running after them to hit them, to punish them. Now, they don't have permission to go to anybody. If there is human being, if there is human being, has Allah over while he is in this world, so they give permission to him to go there. But why is someone has Allah over If this one has a lot of mitzvot. You should go with Allah over Yes, someone has a verot, have a and it's going to go you know, right what, to you know, I, know, I know your question, uh, I know, I know she's going to question. Yes, yeah, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone has a verot and he has no bad spirits are going inside and he's going to shit to Please, home. please, can I explain? You ask question, which is, Hishbonos of Hashem. How can I ask you for that? And you're like, Hashem, why are you put this soul in this person? Why are you in this? Why are you do that? It's Come ma- on! It's Makavea and Markava. If someone has a lot of a broth and you put in a way of t- inside, something inside him that's going to make him do more of a broth. Like true, true, gonna, true. He's going to go away right. to get him home. Why no. So what's happened? I'll explain to you. Then that explains something very important. You're already going, you go, you're asking good question. You're going, you're going too much deep. I can explain to you. I know the answer. Huh? I know the answer. You know the answer? Okay, so let's hear it. Because the guy, he already has so much of a rock. Hashem needs, Hashem, like, if he's a Jew, Hashem wants to punish him in this world already. No, it's not the answer. So the, 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 the answer is like this. Let me explain it like this. You see, well, you, what is your name? Ilya Khadawi. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ilya Khadawi. Do you know how many sparks you have which connected to the Ilya Khadawi? You don't know, uh-huh. Uh-huh. You don't know. <laughs> let's say, let's say I will tell you an exact number, not exactly, just a trivial number. Okay? Let's say in you there is a, let's say 600,000 sparks. Which connected to you, not inside of you, it connected to you. That's good or bad? We, hold on. 600,000 sparks is connected to you. Now, those sparks, I call them sparks, but they're also neshamot. You, uh, you could, I, call them, I could call them neshamot. But they're not inside of me, you said. They're not inside of you, they're outside. And why do they, how do they bother me? Now, hold on. You're not letting me finish to say, explain to you, then you jump in. So now this ha- six hundred thousand uh, souls or sparks, how you call that, they are in different places, different bodies, different people. You don't know them even. Different people the sparks are in. Yeah, they are in different people. The different. What that? What's those sparks have to do with me? They are yours, my God. The mind, like, they are yours. They're inside other people. Yes. Okay. Now, they are yours. Now. Let's say they pass away before you. They pass away before you. And they did a lot of other They did a lot of bad stuff. Not kosher things. Not right now, which kind doesn't matter now. Now when they when they when they when they suffering, they wanna go be in touch to their own source. Understand? So when I give you example from you, me also. I might also have a not 600,000, maybe 6 million sparks. Example, you also, other people also. So this connection between us and those sparks, and those neshamot. You understand? So what's happening? What's happening here is, they see their own soul, they know this is, he belongs to that body, to, to that soul in that body, you want to stick with him. Not always I should give permission to go inside. When he see there is a, there is a benefit or, or, or even a benefit or a must or it's okay or no choice or whatever reason could be. When Hashem said, let him go beside, then he go beside. So what's happening is, while it's inside of you, is that the person, while you do mitzvot, supposedly, supposedly, you have to fix them. You see, you're going to give them a power by going to Torah or mitzvot to fix that neshama, 
very rarely uh, happening, not real, I don't know, rarely, rarely, or not very rarely. What's happening it is, if the person is not so smart and the neshama go inside them and beside the fix them, he destroy him and also is the person it is, everything became mixed up. It happens kind of too, it's just those, it's those people evil one. So basically that kind of job. And what's happening it is, your plus gonna be, why are you gonna follow Torah Mitzvot? So you're gonna have a reward also when you fix him, it's your own spot. And after that, you get fixed, he leaves you. He leaves you. That is the entire story we're learning right now. People used to come to the Taya, he's saying, uh, they say, that's not like a lady came over with, we're not that there yet, we're gonna, she's gonna see it. We're gonna come to that. She can say, I feel somebody coming in the night, choking me, or doing this, I mean, that's not a job, so I have to move like that, I know what is this, I go to doctor, nobody help me out. So Rebuild the Taya was such a tzaddik, he knew what's going on. And he used to say, okay, you know what, you have a soul inside of you, he made you that. And said, so what you do? So you have to come to me like a 10 time. I have to make you 10 sessions, uh, se sessions, 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 huh? sessions, sessions, 10 sessions you have to come to me and I'm going to help you to, to help you to, to get rid of him. So he used to come, he used to whisper in his, in his ears, how is that anything you want, kind of name, uh, holy name, whisper in his ears and he used to be covered and said, that, we're going to learn this, we're going to show how it's happening over here. And that soul used to sometimes listen, sometimes know, then little by little, he used to hear that Rabbi Ptaya really doing things. And that soul used to speak with Rabbi Ptaya, and that Rabbi Ptaya, and used to tell him, please help me out to get, to, to fix. Because when he used to whisper with the, an ear, ears, and doing some kavanot with the Torah, that soul used to suffer. It's like a, it's like a, you, 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 you scratching him, or you cleaning him, you know what I mean? And that soul, that used to like. The smart man used to say, do it, do it, do it. It's okay, I'm gonna suffer, F fix me. Let me go to, already to my place. Uh, other one used to not do it. So, so the evil one, sometimes they used to go to the shofar, do strong way and used to let them go to a different place to let that person alone. Or sometimes used to fix them. You understand? So it depends on the situation, which kind of shama, what he did, it. like one of the story, I, I, told, I didn't told you the one guy, he was, uh, he died age of 20 something, but he make a avirot like somebody 200 years already. So much, you know what I mean? So uh, many, this is many situations, you can't, you can't take a one situation, you can million situations, you understand? So that we, right now, he explained to us, to teach us that the, uh, What's, ha what's happening? That's, that's, that's the reason, the best thing in this world is keep the wrong world. The best thing. Anywhere you're gonna go, anywhere you think you're gonna do, each, which, which way you're gonna do it, Torah gonna save you in the end. That's the reason also, Mika, for example, making feel old. Now, stronger is this kind of thing. Mika, learning Torah, or coming with me. To you going to shul, you going to be, to the school, learning Torah, praying. There's the same thing about Mitsa put Felina, you know, study Torah day and night, day and day, you're not wasting your time for nothing. You know, there's the same, everything will be okay. You're gonna be considered a sadiq. And and it should be it shouldn't be any reason that the Shalom should gonna come and bother you. You understand? It shouldn't be this kind of thing. So 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 that we're learning right now. It's good to know this kind of thing, it's all the Torah. And they coming to me, they should heal them. But it is showing me what time I record. Come on, Minish Elo. They used to ask a question, those souls. He asked them what's happened to them when they pass away. When they die, what's happened to them? Rakshiro Hayu Yudim Od Ed Geheno. But some, some souls, I sit down, well, you're, not, you're not listening, you're not in the, listen to that, you, you're, not, you're not with me. You're touching yourself and moving, I don't know. He said that the, if some soul is to speak with them, they didn't know even what is going on. Not yourself, because it was not there yet. He said, talk to them and ask them questions. They didn't have even opportunity still to go to Geno, to hell. Rag, achad, mihem, shachar, shenitkan, valach, le Geno. Only one of them, I did, he said, he was fixed and I go to Geno. Vachar kach, al edi atfilat, shenitpalalti, lefinak, kudosh, borchu, and then after that, I pray for him. To Hashem, he's saying, 
יהיה חזר ובא אליי, then he came to the rabbi ptaya, that נשמה after the rabbi ptaya fix him, he go to hell and they come back, he make him to fix to go to hell and to fix him, then he come back to him, he סיפר לי על מדור העליון של גיהנום שהיה נידון בו, and he told them how they judging him in the highest level of hell. To Rabbi Daptaya, by, by telling him, appreciating him, that he let him to go to hell, at least to fix himself. <laughs> people, you know, it's such, a, it's, a, it's such a maze. People living in this world, people living in this world, and they don't know, they don't know nothing. They think, they think they go to hell, oh, we want to be safe from hell. But he was speaking in the Shemot, they did this so hell, years by years. When you saw how they suffer, years by years they, they saw. Because the other road and bad things they did it. Ve'ech, seder anidonim sham. Gam sipir li, ima sha'atir ra'asot bo. Wow, you're watching the watch or time? What, how many minutes? Yeah? I saw you were watching how many minutes, no? Yeah, I was. So why are you watching that? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Why you want to know? I just want to know. Why you want to know? I just want to know. Why are you answering me like that? Why you know? You're far from Avot Hashem, you should know that. Whoever rushing to finish that way to go, is thing is, you have to work on yourself a lot to be close to Hashem. You have to be like Rishon Orechai. They're going to his house Sunday, they're coming out Friday. They didn't, they didn't even feel how five days passed. Imagine yourself. They go Sunday, they, what, to his Friday already? That's the real Jewish person who learned Torah. That they were supposed to be all of like that. Masha, I didn't ask you, why are you touching your leg? Take care of that, just getting some smoke coming out. Masha, I did ask you, but I had it to be gain on. And also, I was going to tell them what was going to happen to them after they came out from the gain on. Beit Halifatul Ganeddin. How are they going to take him from gain on to Ganeddin? Fi Masha Shama, but I remember the Beit Din Shel Mala, the way he heard in the Beit Din, in the judgment, in an upper level in the world, in the Olam Ba. אבל בפנימיות גן עדן עדיין לא ידע. They heard there is a גן עדן, but what's going to be inside the גן עדן, he didn't still know what's going on there, because he's, he's not there as yet. ולא שמע מזה מאומה. כמו שנדבר בעזרת השם, וזה החלי בעזרת הצורי וגאלי. We're going to stop here. Okay, stop that.